Hi everybody! Uh, welcome to this video. I'm going to try not to give like a really super long intro, but I feel like you guys definitely need some context. Um, so the other day I announced on my channel that I was, I made a big decision and I decided that I was going to now have two channels. That was probably five or six days ago. Um, I straightened my hair for like the first time in over a year and my hair is still straight. It's, my roots are starting to get a little bit greasy. Um, today so I'll probably leave this for one more day and then I will wash it and go back to wear my hair curly all the time but anyway it is fitting that my hair is straight because I decided that the name of my new channel is going to be Straight Up Susie and I wanted to do Simply Susie because I wanted to just pick a name that didn't pigeonhole me into making any video videos sorry about anything really specific um, I'm just going to post a ton of videos on this new channel about everything so like lifestyle mom stuff um any type of like beauty health i don't know just everything i'm just going to post vlogs and sit down chit chat videos and lifestyle videos and everything 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 um as far as my curly susie channel goes and some of you are watching this video right now on the curly susie channel i am going to continue to make curly hair videos but what i have decided to do is I'm only going to do really quality videos. So what happened to me before is I started feeling like I had to post every week or a couple of times a week and I feel like my content started to get a little bit watered down and my videos weren't as strong. Now as far as the audio and the visual quality and stuff like that, it's not going to change a whole lot. I know that there's a lot of you that like my channel because you can tell that it's real, like it's not overproduced. Um, I don't over edit things and I actually think that my videos have a lot of value because I talk to you in like layman's terms and explain exactly why I'm trying a certain product or why I'm following the curly girl method and I try to be like as open and, and honest as possible. And that's another reason that I like the name Straight Up Susie for my other channel because um, straight up just means like honest and truthful. So straight up Susie versus curly Susie. I think curly straight, like the little kind of play on words is cute. And somebody actually suggested that name on Instagram and I'm sending you a little present in the mail. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching it on my curly hair channel, this video right now is going to turn into the first vlog that I'm posting on my new channel. And that way, maybe if you're on the fence about whether you're going to follow me on both channels, you can get an idea of what my second channel is kind of going to be like and then make your decision there. Um, this is the first and last time I'm ever going to post the same video on two channels. And it is probably the last time I'm ever going to post anything non-Curly Hair related on this Curly Susie channel. So if you were watching Curly Susie for mom stuff, fitness related stuff, vlogs, lifestyle stuff, then you may want to leave the Curly Susie channel and just follow me on Straight Up Susie. If you're somebody that likes all my content, maybe you want to subscribe to both channels. And if you are somebody that is only interested in hair, then the good news is now when you get a notification that I posted a video, you know that it's a hair related video and something that you will most likely be interested in. Um, so that is why I did this. I did it for you guys and I also did it for myself because I just really want to branch out and start making videos about everything to do with my lifestyle. I love YouTube. That was Hank sneezing. I love YouTube. I love making videos. Um, I still love my curly hair channel. I'm still very passionate about uh, the curly girl method and all of that kind of stuff. So I just think this is the best way for me to have these creative outlets and make the content that I really, really want to make. So that is all I'm going to say in this intro. Thank you everybody for your feedback and your excitement when I announced that I was going to start two channels. And I hope to see you again very, very soon on either my curly hair channel with curly hair information or my second channel, Straight Up Susie, which is live right now. Hey Kyle, you just hanging out out here? Good morning everyone. This is the first vlog style video that I'm doing for this channel and I hope that it is at least entertaining. We are both off today, so my husband and I are both off. And it is Wednesday, but like, as for most of you, it feels like a Sunday every day. Um, and we just have a few things that we're doing today. I'm picking up my new bike. 
So I'm going to get my bike at the bike shop and we are picking up um, like a swing set play set for my son. Something that you're gonna learn about me when you start watching my vlogs is that I really like to get things secondhand or free or just things that are basically like well used hand-me-down. So my bike is secondhand, the swing set, someone is giving it to us for free because their kids outgrew it. Um, my car is secondhand. He's new. Hey buddy! It's nice out, isn't it? Yeah, why is the birdie flying? Do you see a birdie? Yeah. Oh, this is there. Oh. Jump, jump, jump. Anyway, I'm gonna go get dressed and we'll see where this vlog takes us. Look at this disaster zone. This room was spotless clean before I went to bed last night. Like the closet's not too bad. But like, look at this. Both kids ended up in bed with us. We just painted this room though. Looks pretty good, I think. But I have to clean it up before I do anything. This is your ramp? Yeah. Your monster truck ramp? Yeah. That's cool. So, <laughs> take something out. Oh, he's so cute. Hey. Yeah, Daddy's outside, and he has a little surprise for you. What is it? Do you want it? Yeah. It's just a little surprise. Oh, I want it. Do you want to get dressed and go out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? He looks concerned. <laughs> what do you think, Will? Well, you're all sweet set. Woohoo! You're all set. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. Do you like it? Yeah. Woohoo! Wow. I got my own slide. You got your own slide. <laughs> so thank you to Uncle Fred because he helped me go thank get it. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Glad you like it. Is it all ready, Daddy? Well, I bought it for you, Will. Yeah. Jennifer bought it. I bought it. Is this my head or what? Is this a climb up? Is this a climb up? I showered today. I know it's kind of hot. Look here, what? Oh, are you seeping? I'm just getting them some snacks. Shelf broke in our fridge and it basically looks like I stood like 10 feet away from the fridge and just threw them in there. And this drives my husband crazy because he's kind of a neat freak and I am kind of messy. Tuna fish sandwiches. Lil's is on a hamburger bun because I ran out of bread. He'll be just as happy. Come on Lois. There's a wide variety of drinks here at Shea Hardy.
We're gonna plant some vegetables later. We cheated, we didn't get seeds this year. All right, I'm heading to get my bike. I am not going to drive and vlog at the same time because uh, I feel like that could be a recipe for disaster. So, um, and I don't know if I will vlog inside the store at all either because of all the COVID restrictions. It might just be curbside pickup or they might just let like one or two people in the store at the same time. So we'll see how it goes. There's the tree that we're trying to nurse back to health. Of course, there's like a huge lineup at the bank. And Buddy's like outside his car <laughs> using the machine, which kind of defeats the purpose, I think. But uh, anyway, hopefully this won't take too long. Let's talk about YouTube versus reality for a second. So you guys saw like the video of Wilson running up to the swing set and he was so, so excited. And then after about five minutes, he just started to like ball his eyes out because I told him that he was getting a teeny tiny little surprise because I want hit, wanted him to be like more surprised when he saw it was a swing set so he was crying because I said it was a little surprise and it was a big surprise like three-year-olds are so bizarre What a day! Woo! New bike day! New cheapy helmet. I wonder if it's still gonna fit with my big giant curly head of hair. What do you think, Kyle? This thing is sweet. So this was a bike that he had as a rental for a while. So people that would come to visit Cape Breton who were cyclists that didn't want to bring their bikes or their flying or whatever, he would rent this out and the shop maintained it. So it's in really, really good shape. It's a little bit heavier than my old bike, but it is exactly what I need right now. I just got in like two seconds ago and I am just feeding Hank right now actually, um, because I'm going to try to go for a walk. So a lot of you, when I mentioned that I was starting a second channel, you said that you were interested in knowing about like fitness related stuff and how I plan on, you know, losing weight after having a baby. And I found like with Will, and at this point too, at the three month mark, that is when I really like just started to Think about that and so I'm just trying to fit in exercise any way that I possibly can like whatever I can do that day that does the trick um, and with the three-year-old and a three-month-old it's tough so on the days that my husband is home it's a little bit easier for me to exercise and what I've been doing lately oh this is a terrible angle <laughs> but what I've been doing lately is just walking for 40 minutes because there's like a big long street that is a hill right next to my house. Okay, that was like the first hill. I think it looks steeper if you look down it. Oh, and then we're going all the way up there. Okay, so this part is kind of a little bit flat, a little bit downhill, and then it goes straight uphill. And that does not look that steep, but it is steep. So anyway, when the baby gets a little bit older and I get in a little bit better shape, I will jog this whole stretch or try to run this whole stretch. But, oh look, there I am. Um, you're not supposed to run with a baby in a stroller until they are like between six and eight months. So I try to follow the rules and just keep walking until he gets a little bit older. I know this probably doesn't look very steep, but here's like a little bit of a better perspective, I guess. Okay, so maybe I'll talk a little bit right now about uh, this new channel. So like I said, I'm gonna kind of post about everything. And um, just wait one second here, there's a car coming. Um, but I am going to be posting like 
all kinds of exercise stuff because that is definitely a huge part of my life and as a mom of two now I know how hard it is to try to incorporate it um, into your lifestyle and that's going to become very apparent when I go back to my nursing job and I'm doing YouTube and I have two kids and I'm trying to exercise and eat healthy and all that stuff and I know I said that I was only going to post like what I feel like posting kind of things but I also like to for my videos to have some kind of value to you guys other than just entertainment value so I'm hoping to post more fitness related videos and more videos related to like how I'm eating and exercising in order to not only lose a little bit of weight post baby but um, just be healthier in general how you doing just talking to my camera like a nut job oh they're still outside hey buddy oh it's nice and shady here isn't it are you eating your paws? You fix your hat. It doesn't get any more Cape Breton than this. We were just sitting in our backyard <laughs> and somebody is playing the bagpipes. We're back inside. Jeff's just putting Will in the tub because he is filthy. We've been outside all day. We'll probably go back out. Hi! This is our supper. Um, I just cut up a bunch of stuff and cooked some ground chicken and we're having wraps and we use plain yogurt as like a sour cream uh, for our sandwiches. And I have these here wraps. I'm trying my bike out for like five seconds. Like I have my hair down. I don't even have like bike shorts on. And, uh, but I thought I would show it to you guys. I got a specialized sector elite. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And the only thing I'll really change is right now I just have these regular old pedals with the straps on them. But I do have like bike shoes and clipless pedals, which I like. But anyway, this is my first time on my new bike. I'm just taking a little quick rip up and down the street. And uh, so far, so good. Pumped. I better let her in. Just wait one sec. It is like quarter after eight. I'm just gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm just, oh, I was just heading out to the backyard because I wanted to look at the fire pit. I just wanna show you guys the fire pit and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. So I put the, the red brick around the top. I wanna try to do it around the sides, but I like, it's not perfect, like length, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. See, like I'm this much short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that looks fine. No, I can't leave it like that. I thought about putting something in the middle. You could turn one of these on your side. Oh yeah. See the exact gap. Here. Could you just dig down and put it I'll in like that? It. I'll dig it out and I'll pop it right in. Yeah, that looks good. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm hoping to make like one of these every two weeks or so. And uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to vlog or talk about on this channel, hey, let me know. What? Oh, <laughs> he wants to put the lawn furniture out on the front step so that we can sit outside. So, I'm, apparently I'm getting cushions. Easy there. 
So change of plans, we are going to sit out on our front step with the baby monitor. Maybe have a little drinky. Hi, my boy. Hi. You're supposed to be sleeping. What are you doing? Uh, uh.